Hello beautiful souls and welcome back to my channel. My name is Masha and this is The Wonder Woman Within. If you are new to my channel, we talk about emotional wellness, health, travel. Today we will actually talk about the topic of self-compassion, self-love, self-care. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So unless you've been under a rock, you've probably seen tons of posts on Instagram, on Facebook about self-love. Um, love yourself no matter what, unconditionally, but it seems like it is very surface level to me and I would like to address that in this video. A lot of what I teach, a lot of things that I coach on and talk about with my clients, mostly women, is about self-compassion so it's not really about self-love it's a very general topic that gets diluted on social media on a lot of blog posts and a lot of videos that i watch so i would like to explain to you the difference between self-love and self-compassion and maybe shift your perspective on how you look at yourself and how you treat yourself as a human being so basically self-love. Love in English language it is pretty much very unilateral, like a very one-liner definition versus in Russian, my first language, Spanish, there's so many ways to say I love you, te amo, te quiero, you know, a lot of different ways. And when we say we love ourselves, and you know we are saying we're going to take a bath with bubbles and champagne and charcuterie board that's a self-love but then we're sitting in that bathtub soaking for hours and do we feel more love to ourselves when we go shopping for that dress you know we buy that dress we wear it and do we really say i love myself or do i love the dress right and for me it used to be a uh, travel i used to travel a lot thinking that's the way i was showing love to myself romancing myself kind of like a partner right taking me on trips taking myself to romantic getaways romantic dinners um you know buying myself things and it's almost like dating myself, which a lot of people tell you, relationship coaches, they tell you to date yourself. So I think that a lot of people develop definition of self-love from the angle of dating themselves. But the truth is, a lot of times in our lives that happened to me recently, our partners do change. Sometimes they we fall out of love with them, sometimes they fall out of love with us. Sometimes they cheat, sometimes we cheat, right? There's things that happen in the relationships. But let me ask you, if you have children, if you are a parent, or if you are a, a dog owner or a pet owner, when you say, when if people ask you how do you love your child? It's really hard to explain versus how do you love your partner? Like a lot of times when we talk about our partners, we focus on things that they're doing, right? Things that maybe how they look on the outside, what they've accomplished, how they treat us. If somebody asks you, why do you love your child? That's almost like a kind of a stupid question. Like, what do you mean? It's my child. So if anything from watching this video, I invite you to look at yourself as your own child, as your own human being that was gifted to you by God when you were born. You were gifted this body to carry you through the rest of your life. You were gifted your humanness, your heart, your mind, your brain, all of the things, right? That is gifted to you and it's your responsibility to carry you throughout the rest of your life. Just like you raise your children, you take your pets out for a walk, you feed them, you take them to school. Sometimes kids, our, I don't have any kids yet, but sometimes kids do say things that hurt us. Sometimes we don't get that return, right? That we give to them, but guess what? We still love them no matter what. 
Sometimes our pets are a hot mess making, you know, all kinds of chaos in the house and whatever else they do, we still love them no matter what. So what about you? Would you still love yourself if you did not have that job you have today or the career? Would you still love yourself if you didn't have the body that you had today? Would you still love yourself if you were not in the relationship or marriage or the house that you lived in or anything else that's outside of you? that creates your identity of who you are, would you still honestly love yourself unconditionally? That's where true love starts. Looking at yourself as your own child that you will never give up because you can't give up children. We can't just take them to a store and return them, right? So <laughs> same thing with yourself. God gave you this body to carry your soul in and all the gifts, all the opportunities. What are you going to do with it the rest of your life? Are you going to respect it? Are you going to cherish it? Are you going to treat it well? Or are you going to completely ignore it, completely trash it, you know, with all kinds of things like toxic people, alcohol, whatever else you're putting, deciding to put in your body or around your body. If you are enjoying my channel and this content, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. I have new videos coming out every single Wednesday and I hope to see you next week. Now for me, self-love at this point in my life, it's not a feeling anymore because there is no feeling really when you are seeing your child, that is your part of you. It's an extension of you. So there's no feeling in the world that can really express that. I hope you understand what I mean. But what we can do is to show the body that we actually do care about it and we do respect it. So it's not about just taking bubble baths once in six months. It's about what you do every single day. How much sleep do you give your body? How much rest? How much intimacy do you, pleasure do you have in your life? What kind of foods and drinks are you putting in your mouth every single day? How do you talk to yourself? What kind of people are around you? What do you tolerate? What do you allow? How do you move your body every day? How do you dress your body every day? Do you worship it or do you just completely ignore it as something that's not even part of you. And I know a lot of people that are watching this video are at this point where they probably don't want to be present with their body, but the more you ignore it, it's kind of like having a, a pet that you just don't take for walks, you don't feed, you just ignore, don't give them anything. Eventually, they're not gonna be fun to be around, right? Same thing with your kids. The more you isolate yourself from them, the more you create that distance. Same with your body. You can always choose to get to know your body by asking it, hey body, what do you need today from me? Do you need more water? Do you need more rest? And guess what? Your body will communicate with you what it actually needs. So to me, showing love to your body means through action. And the last thing I want to leave you with is self-devotion. So that means no matter what happens in your life, you can even write it out somewhere in a journal, keep it in a safe. No matter what, I am still going to do or be this for myself. Because remember, everything around us is temporary. All the husbands, the boyfriends, the children, sometimes they do go away. Same thing with the job, sometimes we do lose it. Sometimes we lose a car, sometimes we lose just external things around us, right? The places we live in, the friends we have. But guess what? Wherever you go, there you are. You know that quote, right? So my question is, how are you showing devotion to yourself? And no matter what, how are you going to show up for yourself? So really question, how devoted are you to you? Really make a Promise to yourself that no matter what, I'm still going to be there for you. And hearing that alone for your, for your parts or for your body makes it feel so much safer, so much calmer that you actually acknowledge it 
and validate it and that you care. And I tr trust me, once you validate a part of you that's exhausted and just give it some rest, you're gonna feel completely different the next day. Or if you are eating the wrong foods, drink too, drinking too much alcohol, asking your body, what do you really need? And it will reply back. As long as you give it space and some stillness and some quiet time, I promise your body will tell you what it needs. I hope you enjoyed my video today. Again, hit subscribe if you like what you're seeing and watching. My videos are pretty short, 10 to 15 minutes, little bites every single Wednesday. We talk about health, emotional wellness, travel, relationships, a little bit of style. So if you're interested in watching me, please subscribe. I'll see you next Wednesday.